Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Today, let's open up a new topic. Number system. Numbers in total can be basically divided into different groups and subdivisions according to the pattern, character, properties, easiness to conceive, etc. All numbers are divided as real numbers and numbers that are not real, which is known as imaginary numbers, which we will learn in higher classes. Now let us have a brief look into real numbers. If we examine closely, the real numbers are based on their character and property. It can be seen that some numbers are rational. That is, it has a definite logical character and some numbers are irrational. That is, it has no definite logical character. Therefore, real numbers can be divided into rational numbers and irrational numbers. And rational numbers can be further divided into natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. We have already discussed rational numbers in the previous class. Let's have a quick recall on that. A rational number is a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers, and q is not equal to zero. It is denoted by q. Example, two by three, four by three, minus one by two, minus one, three, zero, etc. Natural numbers are counting numbers. That is, one, two, three, four, etc. And denoted by n. Whole numbers are natural numbers including zero. That is, zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Denoted by w. When we include negative numbers along with whole numbers, we get integers denoted by z, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. For understanding the basics, do watch the introduction to Rational Numbers video by clicking on the pop-up or the link in the description box. Now let us see. What are irrational numbers? Consider a square, ABCD, having sides one unit. Draw the diagonal AC. Now we get two triangles triangle ABC and triangle ADC. Then what about the length of AC? Triangle ABC is a right angled triangle. So in triangle ABC, by Pythagoras theorem, AC square equals AB square plus BC square equals 1 square plus 1 square equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. Therefore, AC equals root 2 units. What about root 2? Is it a rational number? We know that rational numbers are in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers, and q not equal to 0. We can write root 2 as root 2 by 1, which is in the form p by q, but here p is not an integer. Therefore, root 2 is not a rational number. 
That is, root 2 cannot be expressed in the form of p by q for any integers p and q. Such types of numbers are called irrational numbers. That is, an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed in the form p by q for any integers p and q where q is not equal to zero. Therefore, root 2 is an irrational number. Next, consider root 3. We can write root 3 as root 3 by 1, which is in the form p by q, but here also p is not an integer. Therefore, root 3 is an irrational number. Similarly, root 5, root 6, root 7, root 8, root 10, root 50, etc. are also irrational numbers. But what about root 4, root 9, root 25, root 81, root 100, etc. Are they rationals or irrationals? Let us see. Root 4 is equal to 2. We know 2 is a rational number. Therefore, root 4 is also a rational number. Similarly, root 9 is equal to 3, which is a rational number. Root 25 is equal to 5, which is a rational number. Root 81 equals 9, which is a rational number. And root 100 equals 10, which is also a rational number. Hence we can see that square root of a perfect square is always a rational number. The collection of all rational numbers and irrational numbers together form a system of real numbers, which is denoted by R. Therefore, a real number is either rational number or irrational number. Already we know that, corresponding to every rational number, there is a point on the number line. Similarly, corresponding to every irrational number also, there is a point on the number line. For example, we have already seen that, the hypotenuse of A, right triangle with base and altitude as, one unit, is root two units. We can mark the distance of hypotenuse that is root 2 on the number line we will discuss the details of the representation of irrational numbers on a number line in another video in general we can say that corresponding to every real number there exists a unique point on a number line a number line on which we can represent all real numbers, is called a real number line. Conversely, corresponding to every point on the number line, there exists a unique real number. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed number system, which includes rational numbers and irrational numbers they together form the real numbers and then we learned real number line before winding up let's check how much you understood by doing an activity classify the following as rational numbers and irrational numbers root 10 root 25 root 36 root 8 root 15 that's all for now. See you all in the next class.